Hello everyone, welcome back to Tactical Masterclass. This will be start of a new series where I will explain how to ruin a different family of monsters and how to give artifact, I mean which artifact you should use on them and where to use them, different team comms like that. So today will be talking about the panda family so first up we will start with the fire panda zongfei he is a fusion monster so you can get him very easily mm, he has a defense lead and a third skill with multi hit which disturb hp recovery clan sick attack break and speed break four hits and this second skill got buffed it now cleanses not only him but all enemies and also gives the healing buff and this first skill is just for damage like and defense break so how would you build him first let me tell if where to use him you can use him in r5 has a very good tank for front line and has a defense lead and you can also use him like a starter necro team but i wouldn't suggest but in very early game you can use him for a starter necro team and other than this you can use him in guild war as a fire tank some people in early game use it as a fire tank for arena but i wouldn't suggest that because he is a defense type monster even if he is fire as you want high defense on him lucian can still kill him so i wouldn't suggest that using him in arena and also you can use him in the predators because some of the predator boss needs this you need this uh, fire type only fire type monster you can use like one one only one type monster and you have to use for this so you can use him for your cleanser if you don't have Velajuel like that or lisa and you can also use him in the labyrinth labyrinth stages of course in the main boss tartarus and also in some stages you can use him so let's talk about how to ruin him first in the early game you just want stats high stats like high HP high defense and high resistance with little bit of accuracy to land this defense break I would suggest 70% resistance for the R5 build and high as high defense and hp as possible for early game for stats you will look for like plus 10 to 15k hp and plus 1000 defense minimum that's minimum and 70 percent resistance as i said before and try to include as many revenge set as possible in him because he can revenge and defense break the boss in that way in the mid game you want to have the same stats but with higher speed so that you can use him in that predator because as a cleanser and also in r5 uh, as a cleanser you need some speed and for the late game late to end game build of course violent revenge and also you have to remember this skill not doesn't scale on defense that is the only thing that this skill doesn't scale on defense only it also scales on attack and this also defense and max hp so you want high attack also like it's no it's hard to guess those stats but you want those attack sub as much as you can in late game then you can also use him in guild war siege because 
trust me his damage is not that bad and also i haven't told you this skill uh, target the uh, max hp of deals damage according to the max hp of the enemy so for nuking down the bosses this is also very good skill like uh, it this skills like same as like spectra second skill sigmar's third skill lean like those things so now the rune part is gone now artifact which type of artifact you are going to look for him you will be looking for anything base i don't care uh, because you want to give him hp and defense you want to look for additional damage on hp attack or defense most probably uh, hp and defense would be the best because you know he has a multi hits and he has a these two skill both have multi hits so additional damage of hp and defense and speed if you can give him speed and for other stat i would suggest like less damage from dark less damage from uh, because you want to use him in necro less damage from dark less damage from fire water those kinds of stuff and that's all that will be the thing for him for late game speed suggestion i would say minimum plus 70 80 on violent that will be good so the next monster is molong he used to be a very very op monster in season 5 6 like that in rta <coughs> he has a hp lead his third skill reckless assault does 70 percent of the enemy's hp and this skills dragon's dance this is why he was so broken because now it only strips on the third attack but before it can strip on every attack so and there will be huge stun chance for that and this is the same as all the panda so for the early game i would suggest you build him on very high hp and speed anything room like swept energy anything and with good accuracy of course like 50 60 percent accuracy from subs swift focus swift energy 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 focus anything for mid game you would want violent like minimum with 100 speed on violent and as much hp as you can like 20k plus 20k plus 25k and in the late game you would want uh, like the same violent will and like 150 speed like that that's minimum 150 140 150 speed on violent will with good accuracy and same kind of hp and for the teams why you can use him of course you can use him rta guild war siege and that's probably it I don't suggest to use him on arena not for dungeons yeah that's the RTA but and one thing also remembers this skill it deals 70% of the max HP of the opponent he pairs very good with Skogel and Bulwark like those kind of thing first Skogel or Bulwark hits and put them below 70% and then reckless assault you can just delete one monster from the scene and this skill has another trick if you have like brand on the enemy it deals more than 70 percent like 80 82 percent some kind of that he does uh, so that's an another good strategy to bring a brand and then you can kill if even if enemy has over 70 percent hp and for another build i would suggest some people build him on vampire 
that's also another option this skill yeah this skill also bams up hp back to you so that you do, doesn't lose as much as hp and another trick i use with my molong for siege especially uh, use him with jean like i molong jean and another noker so in that way or or sometimes ganymede so that what i do um, you just jean goes first or molong goes first trips everyone or hopefully strips and jin provokes and put the invincibility on the molong and then molong reckless assault to put one enemy below seven like 70% damage and then what you do as because of the invincibility he doesn't lose any hp so if you reset him with ganymede you can go reckless assault again and delete that enemy like double reckless assault that kind of stuff yeah and for artifact again i would suggest additional damage from hp defense speed of course because he has to be very fast and for the type thing i would suggest mm, less damage from wind because many people use copper to kill him or lucian so less damage from wind is very good you can use less damage from water but that's not that important because there's not many water nuker out there that used mostly so yeah less damage from wind and additional damage from hp speed and defense next is the feng yan the king of guild war offense and siege of course this monster is very very op in offense because literally he can kill almost any defense if you team up with the right comp team him up with the right comp so he has a defense lead 44% for guild content his passive is what makes him so op that whenever you attack your attack bar increased by 20% and you addition do additional damage proportionate to your defense as i said even if this attack is based on the scales on attack because of this because of this thing this additional damage uh, passive so this skill does now does damage on defense and this is like a pure like cleanse and counter attack buff so what you want to build for early game high defense any stats but most important thing many people just forget this they think the uh, he increase attack bar whenever he get attack so you doesn't need that much speed but that is a lie you also need speed otherwise they will attack like five times four times to give you give you full attack bar that is not good you want like they attack you once or twice and you get full attack bar you attack them so for the early game you just give him high defense good hp good speed doesn't matter the set for early game and high resistance yeah high resistance is very very important for him because you can bomb him you can defense break him if, if you defense break him that's his downside for rune i would suggest speed defense hp speed defense 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 hp anything he doesn't need critical damage he his damage is based on his passive so you don't need critical damage you need high defense that's where you can do much more damage for mid game you would start to switch him on violent and with 
minimum 70 speed i would say minimum 70 in mid game and for late game as much speed as you can get like 120 on violent will and like 20k hp yeah he has to have some hp 20 25k hp and like 1500 defense minimum plus so that's your end game build and with 100% resistance if you can for team comp i would suggest you can ju you just pair him with an immunity if the immunity monster is alive i don't recall there is any monster apart from like ignore defense like odin or lucian or or like bulldozer anyone can one shot or kill basically mulong especially use him against parna laika those fire monster they will just kill itself by attacking feng yan with this buff and also a great monster i use with him is delphoi you can he also provides immunity and with reset on his second skill on our second skill so like against the perna i just put the immunity and penyang put this calm mind and then the next turn i reset the perna with the delphoi and perna keep attacking feng yan and perna dies itself for the artifact again additional damage of speed hp and defense this hit if you get good artifact this hit can hit 5 to 6k per hit even i seen 8 to 9k per hit on defense break so don't underestimate the artifact and for the minus damage artifact i would suggest from wind fire minus damage from wind and fire additional damage on water additional damage on fire from him for him that will be also good and defense increasing artifacts also can be used but most of the time you are to you your team comp doesn't allow you to use him with defense buff but you can use him that artifact so yeah that's the uh, feng yan and where you want to use him you can use him as an r5 front line but i would not suggest that if you are like very very early to mid game you can get by using with using him mm, you can use him in necro then again if the boss takes him it's very hard to kill him his main thing comes in guild war and siege he is like godly in offense and another thing you can use him sometimes in rta and also this skill you doesn't need mm, build him on crit damage so this skill also can kill mihos with defense buff and defense break and good artifact this skill can do 10k per hit easily 3 hit 30k easily with good build so that's goes the feng yan and the next thing is very few people has the king of arena is a cheat code for arena if you have him you get already two rank higher than your runes allow so yeah Tianlang OP so he is the lead HP of the guild content leader skill 44% his second skill same as Molong but it is does a different thing little because in the Molong's case the only the last hit removes last hit removes beneficial effect but in his state 
the first attack remove beneficial effects second attack decreases attack bar and the third attack stuns so it's little bit better than molong first skill same and the passive whenever the enemy increases attack bar you will increase your attack bar by 20 percent and the attack bar increasing skill that enemy are using that will reduce by 50 percent so it's as you know the attack bar meta buff meta is the only thing in arena because of lucian like bernard mega and lucian fat lucian with konamiya everything does you need to push lucian's attack bar and he counters that he cuts in and he strips so let's say your bernard buffs then your bastet gives attack buff and uh, gives the what do you say the the attack bar push push up and the tian lang cuts in and strips and stuns the lucians and then your lucians does nothing so and this this is why he is so op <coughs> for usage you can use him in guild war defense you can use him very niche in guild war offense i would not suggest but you can and for guild war defense him with uh, him is a, uh, you can use him as a stripper with uh, like uh, damage dealer and attack bar buffer so that uh, enemy when the opponent is try to hit you they will be scared like you will outspeed them so they have to bring something that push up attack bar like that you are like putting them in their misery so attack bar buffer or speed buffer anything very good will be a savanna a bastet and odin like that those kind of things and for arena just use him as you can use him basically with any monster and you push your rank up but i would suggest him and another stripper another very good stripper very fast stripper and like two other monster hopefully with a like something uh, like a nemesis healer and a fire threat like perna like something like that yeah and for rune builds for early game mid game anywhere just despair good speed high speed and good accuracy speed hp hp 50 60 percent accuracy and for the re stat requirements i would say for mid game is 120 130 on despair for late game 150 160 170 minimum on despair despair will for early game you can use despair focus as fast as you can make and here is the most overlooked monster Mi Yang in the panda family he has a very good attack lead for guild war sorry for the noise in the background this is a very busy road in front of our house so i'm sorry for the noise all the time is this road is full of cars and things I'm so sorry if you can hear them and it's disturbing you. So what I was talking like uh, Mi Yang is a guild world attack power lead of 44%. Same combined skill as fire and the uh, wind one. Same first skill as all of them. His passive is decreases incoming damage by 35% and increases damage dealt by 50% if the enemy has lower attack power than yours and recovers the hp of the 30 percent damage deal so he has in build vampire on him you can use him on despair by the way i have seen something but violent is the most good way to go he has a good best speed and like nice base attack not crazy not but it's okay 
and yeah this is a revenge buff so you want a very high attack attack quick damage attack with decent speed on violent will or you can go despair and for the artifacts i would suggest again additional damage of speed and attack attack increasing effect and decrease damage from fire water wind whichever you can get and additional damage on from speed those are the most good artifact skill one quick damage here in this case is very good and yeah that's and for the usage i would suggest use him in mostly guild war and siege in offense not in defense because he can be easily killed by a no lucian or anything just hit him he dies because he's, he will build him on attack and for attack stat for late game i would suggest you have to build like just think about who has the most attack in the game like a tashar or but tashar doesn't be used in guild war uh, uh, often defense so the most high attack monster you can see is savanna or like a laika or like a perna odin those kind of stuffs and they generally have like plus 1500 to 1700 attack so for that you would need as much attack like more attack than them and you also put in a attack buffer like a fran a bastet or megan something like that so that you can have the more like more attack than the opponent so yeah that's would be your way to build violent will or despair will for the late game and for the early game fatal attack quick damage attack that's all yeah so that's it for the video thank you for watching and please let me know in the comment which monster family you want to learn about next and give a like share and subscribe thank you bye bye